In the upcoming year, there are plans to introduce some Tesla bots, with the potential launch of Optimus Gen 3 this year instead of Gen 2, as highlighted by Musk during last week's fourth quarter 2023 financial results call. The manufacturer is currently focused on overcoming the utility barriers associated with this technology, marking a significant stride towards achieving the goal of producing 1 million optimists annually by 2025. Additionally, both the Tesla bot and the $25,000 Model 2 Redwood are set to make their debut in the market. Secure your finances now. So how revolutionary is robotic technology in helping Elon Musk realize his vision? Welcome to Tesla Global. Show your support by subscribing and enabling notifications. Now let's delve into today's content. No other company comes close to Tesla in advancing real-world AI solutions. The same cutting-edge computer and software technology utilized in Tesla's vehicles are integrated into Optimus. While it's premature to discuss pre-ordering the Tesla bot, rest assured that we will provide comprehensive insights when the time comes, likely later this year or next. At present, many may question the practical applications of this robot and its adaptability to serve as a homemaker. To address these inquiries, we must first grasp how it will function within Tesla's factory settings before Elon Musk brings it to consumers. The Tesla bot's primary tasks at the Tesla factory will focus on automation within production and post-production stages, specifically targeting dangerous, repetitive, and mundane tasks. Initially conceived during the development of Optimus, Elon Musk emphasized its purpose in replacing such tasks within the factory setting, encompassing assembly and quality checks prior to its release to the market. Let's delve into its proficiency in recognizing obstacles and navigating the factory floor. This capability is fundamental in assessing its suitability for deployment within Tesla's manufacturing facilities. To operate effectively within a complex factory environment, the Tesla bot relies on highly sensitive sensors and cameras. These components enable it to discern movement paths and understand the layout of departmental areas. Unlike traditional communication methods, the Tesla bot features a screen on its face for displaying information, akin to a Tesla car's interface. On the other hand, data from radar will be used to detect objects that are further away. After determining the location of objects around the factory area, FSD software will plan the robot's movements. This plan will include information such as the speed, direction, and path of the robot. Of course, it will also warn when an object's approaching, so traveling at the factory is hardly a concern. Right when Optimus Gen 2 was released, Musk emphasized that this manufacturing technology had never been seen before. While there's been much discussion about the significant role of the Tesla bot for us at the moment, although this hypothesis makes sense at certain points, it is still too early to confidently state that Optimus will directly manufacture next-gen EVs. Let's look at the operational indicators to analyze its potential. In the initially unveiled prototype, the specifications of Optimus were clearly stated, with the maximum speed of the robot believed to be 5 miles per hour, a height of 5, 8, ooh, and a weight of 125 pounds, with the ability to carry 45 pounds. These are fairly stable metrics, that allow a humanoid robot to undertake simple tasks such as carrying objects, patrolling a factory, and even assembling some small components of an electric vehicle. However, like any concept or prototype, those technical specifications can undergo significant changes during upgrades. Elon Musk also mentioned the use of Tesla's state-of-the-art proprietary drivetrain, which he claims is the world's leading technology. With all these upgraded features, the robot is fully capable of participating in the manufacturing process of a vehicle. In other words, with the release of Optimus Gen 2 and Gen 3 set to be unveiled this year, achieving the goal of automating around 75% of the production line at the Tesla factory has never been easier. If the development pace continues at the current rapid rate, with an upgrade released every seven months, 
reaching a level of automation up to 90% is a possibility. Truly remarkable progress. How will Tesla bots solve the problem of night shift workers? As mentioned in the previous segment, Tesla's Optimus robot is not just a technical advancement, but a labor innovation with human-like capabilities. The automation capabilities of the Optimus robot not only minimize the risk of human errors, but also reduce workplace injuries and pain by tackling hazardous tasks safely and efficiently. This not only allows Tesla to achieve significant cost savings in the long run, but also enhances the overall efficiency of the manufacturing process, aiding Tesla in realizing its goal of producing 20 million cars by 2030. Will Tesla's electric vehicle prices drop when they automate production lines with Optimus? Tesla's electric cars will be as cheap as hotcakes once the Tesla bot can truly revolutionize the production line. That is one thing we can promise. Think about it. When Elon Musk saves a large amount of money to pay each Texas employee with an average salary ranging from $78,000 to $130,000 per year, just think how much money he's saving. Optimizing efficiency and finances for Tesla's manufacturing plants consequently. This could not only have a profound impact on the pricing of Tesla's electric vehicles, but also trigger intense competition among automakers. At this point, the ripple effect of reduced electric vehicle prices would unfold to attract customers, showcasing the positive aspect of automating production through robots. So while Tesla's Optimus bot may be a weapon that causes unemployment for lots of employees at Tesla's factory, this is a concern that the majority of people have. As Tesla achieved significant progress in both quantity and technology with Optimus, from our perspective, it could lead to unemployment effects, but Tesla seems poised to prevent this by expanding the scope of work to tasks that require the human touch. In doing so, the company aims to create new job opportunities rather than letting unemployment occur. When a previous report last September said there were 20,000 workers there, if you think Tesla's going to fire a series of employees after receiving the support of TeslaBot, you're wrong. Not only will there be no layoffs, but the plan to hire more employees will be implemented even more. The most obvious is that Tesla is expected to increase to 60,000 employees by the time it fully ramps up production of Cybertruck and EV Gen 3 at Gigafactory Texas. In the end, Optimus only has the capability to handle dangerous and redundant tasks at the factory, at least from our current perspective. In a few more steps, when Tesla reaches the pinnacle of AI technology, everything we predict becomes uncertain. The initial positioning of the Tesla bot is to replace humans in repetitive, tedious, and dangerous tasks across all manufacturing areas in Tesla. What will it be like when Tesla bots make this a reality in the coming decades. In 2021, before Tesla unveiled the Bumblebee prototype, a Twitter user asked Musk whether robots would be mass-produced and sent to Mars as laborers. Musk responded succinctly with, hopefully. It's easy to see that Elon Musk's ambition to colonize Mars is encapsulated in this humanoid robot alongside the Cybertruck. This is the reason why the Tesla owner has set a goal to produce 10 to 20 million units. If it really works, which will, I don't know, I mean 10 billion units, it's some crazy number, it might be 20 billion units. Although we don't know the pace at which Elon Musk can reach Mars with SpaceX, of course he won't stop until he gets humans to Mars. This is something we can be sure of. Knowing that preparing the harsh environment of Mars for human visitation will take a lot of effort, that's where the Tesla bot's great mission starts. How many Tesla optimists will a Starship take to Mars, if successful? Looking at reality, a robot integrated with high-end AI and developing self-learning capabilities like Optimus can completely set up structures, energy sources, and support setting up Starship to start refueling while using the same tools that human explorers would use. Of course, they can't reproduce like humans can, but they've achieved the ability to creatively generate more Tesla bots, meaning that one Optimus can invent additional Optimuses, and the cycle continues. It's fascinating, yet somewhat frightening. 
it became the first humanoid robot in space with a mission of monitoring and repairing equipment on the ISS. With the development of the Starship spacecraft, the goal of launching the first crewed mission to Mars in 2026 is closer than ever. Both Musk and NASA have expressed the idea of using robots to test efficiency, as they are not significantly different from humans and sometimes excel in troubleshooting skills. Therefore, dozens of Tesla bots are expected to be on board Starship during the upcoming launches to demonstrate the initial steps for human exploration on Mars. In general, the work currently underway at Tesla and the mission of SpaceX coexist in a future aimed at the ambitious endeavor of colonizing Mars, resembling a simulation game that only Elon himself could dream of. Above all, the secret behind Musk's goal to produce 10 to 20 billion units is even more worth discovering. How do you feel about Tesla replacing humans with Tesla bots in the next few years? when the manufacturer achieves both quantity and AI technology, and do you believe that Optimus will have a positive effect on Mars or any other planet? We appreciate your valuable contribution. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.